Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to do the last problem for this section in the fundamentals from chapter 4. Alright. Espero que le gusten el vino tinto. Hope you guys like that wine color background. I'm really digging it. Alright, so again, same exact thing as we've done in the previous like six problems, I guess, up to this point. So we're replacing all these forces that we see, that's F1, F2, any other moments included, this moment that they give us. We're grouping them up into one resultant force and one resultant moment and putting them at point O. Okay. That's gonna the reason why we, that we do this is that's gonna if you're designing some you know the structure that's gonna hold this <clears throat> you want to make sure that it's able to support all those you know all those forces and uh, it can withstand the moments and the torques that are gonna be that it's gonna uh, be experiencing okay you'll see this in mechanics of materials and um, maybe an engineer analysis class or something like that all right so the first thing we do, like uh, in the previous ones, let's let's deal with the forces first. All right, I'll deal with the hardest one now, which is F1. This one's super complicated because we have to take the dot product, the curl, and then integrate over, uh, you know, a large distance. So doing that in my head, I get a hundred J in the negative direction. Okay. Because we know it's, you know, it's a uh, hundred newton. Uh, oh yeah, I was kidding about that before. It's just a hundred newtons being applied in a negative y direction. Okay, so negative one hundred j. F two is a little more complicated, all right, because it's going in three different directions, and uh, we're gonna need to compute the unit vector of the of this line right here green okay we want to find the unit vector that for that line so f you know before we do f2 we need to find up here we'll say okay what's what is this position okay what's this point we'll call it a we'll call this point b okay so so this is point A and point B. So we want to find RAB. Okay. So R A B. So it's going to be RB minus RA. Okay. So RA is just so RB, sorry. RB is let's uh, let's walk down the y axis. 4.5 meters and then let's walk in a negative i direction for 0.4 oh, squeezing it in there there we go all right that's rb now minus ra ra is uh, let's do that. So it's 0.5 J point five J and um, and point three K plus point three K. Okay, so this vector will be negative 0.4i uh, 0.5 minus 0.5 and then plus 0.3 oh, okay I'm starting so it's only in, so it's actually only in 2d it's in the it's in the X Z plane okay so um, I'm gonna continue doing it this way but if you see what I'm talking about this is just a three, four, five triangle here. Uh, let's switch colors. So if you want to try it out that way, so this is this is actually just in the the x z plane. 
Right here we have a 345 triangle and we know the hypotenuse is 200. Okay, because that's the force. So now we can just uh, find how much force is in the x and how much force is in the y, uh, in the k direction. Okay, but I won't do that. Let's do it out the long way. All right, RAB, so that's what we have. And now, what's the magnitude of RAB? Right, so magnitude. That's the square root of 0.4 squared plus 0.3. And you guys have probably done this one multiple times. All right, this is just going to be 0.5. All right, so then F2 is going to be 200 newtons times minus 0.4 i over 0 0.5, aka 4 fifths, plus 0.3 k, 0 0.5. Okay, and now let's just add it up, and then we have our resultant force, FR. Okay, notice how we're not touching this yet, this moment, because that's a moment, not a force. All right. Uh, all right. So minus one hundred. Oh, actually, so eyes with eyes, so two hundred times four divided by five. All right, so we have minus 160i. Then we have minus 100j plus zero, so that's minus 100j. And then plus 120k. All right, that's the result in four, so we're gonna tack on two. This color to uh, what's it called to to the point zero point oh okay so let's see minus minus so it's you know it's gonna be going somewhere in this direction you know it's gonna it's in the in three D okay so that's the resultant force okay so let's do the same thing but now for the moments. Okay. Well, I guess not the same thing, but let's do the moments, the resultant moment. So let's do M1. M1, so distance from O to 0.1. So what's that distance? It's just 0.3. Okay. Crossed with. Uh, minus 100 J okay M2 okay so that's the distance uh, I'm just gonna do you know the distance uh, at the point of uh, application so I guess where F2 originates on the body all right Oh my goodness, what is this? Well, okay, so I won't be able to draw on it. I um, I was drawing on that same layer, so now I won't be able to, well, I don't want to delete it. Anyways, let's continue. So I'm just going to take the point from O to A. So the distance from O to A is 0.5 K, oh sorry, 0.5 J, and then 0.3 K plus 0.3 K. Okay, and what's that force? Well, I already found it here, F2. And F2, we found that it was um, once minus 160i and 120k uh, in the k direction. Okay. Perfect. 
All right, let's do this first one. M1 is 0.3 crossed with, or K crossed with J. K cross J, again, that'll give you a negative I. So we have 0.3 times 100, and then K cross J. Okay, that's negative I. Oh yeah, and then the negatives cancel out. Alright, so it gives you 30 I. Alright, now let's do this one. So, 0.5. So I won't set up the determinant. I want to do it the factoring way. So 0.5 times minus 160. And then J cross J cross I. J cross I. I'll take care of these after. And now 0.5 plus 0.5 times 120. And then this is J cross K. J cross K. And then we have 0.3, so plus 0.3 times minus 160, and it's k cross i, k cross with i, and then last but not least is k cross k is 0, so we want to do that one. All right, so overall we have 0.5 times 0.5 j cross i, that is negative k, so we have 80 k. Then we have 0.5 times 120, that's 60, j cross k is i, so 60 i. And last but not least, 0.3 times 160 times negative 160, that's minus 48. And then k cross i is just positive j. So it's going to be negative 48 j. All right. And then let's do this the last moment. Okay. That's already given to us by this 75 newton uh, couple moments. All right, well, let's see which way is it rotating. So if you, if, you, if you follow with your index fingers, follow that direction of that arrow, okay? So if you, if you do that, your thumb is going to be pointing in a negative x direction, okay? So it's going to be a negative i, okay? So, like, grab onto that arrow, okay? And with a thumb up, with your thumb up, and then you should see that your thumb points negative i direction, just to clarify that. All right, and now, so, so far we already did the resultant force that we're gonna apply at O, and now let's just do the resultant moment. The resultant moment, uh, let's see, so let's group up the i terms, so that's 30i, 30i, 60i, okay. And then minus 75. So we have 15i. Um, what else? Okay. So then 15i, then that leaves a little minus 48j. And 80k. K cross J, okay. Nice. All right. And we're done with this problem. Um, yeah. So if you have a question or concern, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks, guys. See you later.